President Ibrahim Traoré's just crushed France's horrible agenda for Burkina Faso yet again. In his recent speech vividly highlights the enduring struggles for authentic independence in Africa. He critiques the superficial nature of previously granted freedoms, denounces the betrayal by complicit local leaders, and condemns the ongoing exploitation of Africa's vast resources. His address is a call to arms against the persistent neo-colonial forces that have long manipulated and hindered Africa's progress. Traoré emphasizes the need for a united front and heightened vigilance among African nations as they strive to reclaim control over their destiny. The journey toward true independence is complex and laden with obstacles. Despite these challenges, the resilient spirit of the African populace is evident as they continue to push forward, inspired by the prospect of genuine sovereignty and self-determination. Invoking divine guidance, Traoré envisions a continent on the verge of a new era, one that is shaped by the collective efforts and unwavering determination of its people. In his speech, Traoré calls for a revolution, not just in political terms but also in the consciousness of the African nations. He stresses the importance of dismantling the neo-colonial systems that have perpetuated dependency and exploitation. This revolution involves rejecting leaders who have historically prioritized foreign interests over national welfare and establishing governance that truly reflects the will and needs of the African people. The address raises significant questions about Traoré's safety and the potential repercussions of his outspoken stance against powerful foreign influences. His criticism of Western policies and actions in Africa might position him as a target for those who view his leadership and his calls for independence as a threat to their interests. The international community and African citizens alike are now faced with considering whether Traoré's leadership will provoke further attempts by Western powers to undermine or silence him. This discourse invites global audiences and the African diaspora to reflect on the implications of Traoré's assertions. It encourages a broader conversation about the role of former colonial powers in modern African affairs and the path forward to a truly independent and self-sustaining Africa. As we engage in this dialogue, it is crucial to consider what measures can be taken to ensure the safety of leaders like Traoré, who dare to challenge the status quo and advocate for the realignment of power within and beyond Africa's borders. Engage with us in the comments section below to share your thoughts on Traoré's leadership and the challenges he highlights. Do you think he could be the next target of Western powers and should he take additional precautions for his safety? In a powerful discourse, President Ibrahim Traoré casts a spotlight on the enduring challenges African nations face under neo-colonial influence. He draws historical parallels with African leaders who have suffered under the weight of foreign dominance. Leaders like Robert Mugabe, who sought land reforms to reclaim territories historically taken by colonial powers, were vilified and undermined. Conversely, Nelson Mandela is celebrated by the West for his reconciliatory Rainbow Nation stance, which some critics argue did not fully address the disparities created by apartheid. Traoré suggests that the West consistently champions African leaders who align with their interests, rather than those genuinely invested in the autonomy and prosperity of their people. This pattern, he asserts, is a modern manifestation of colonial strategies designed to ensure that Africa remains subservient to foreign interests. The solution, according to Traoré, is a profound revolution to sever these neo-colonial chains and reclaim Africa's destiny. The revolution Traoré envisions is comprehensive, encompassing political, economic, and social transformations. Politically, it necessitates the displacement of leaders who act as puppets to external powers, leaders who betray their people for foreign favor. Economically, he stresses the urgency of reclaiming control over African resources, advocating for self-sufficiency to end the cycle of economic dependency that has tethered African nations to their former colonizers. Socially, the revolution calls for a cultural renaissance where Africans reject the inferiority complexes imposed by centuries of oppression and embrace their rich heritage and values. This cultural empowerment is seen as essential to fostering a sense of unity and solidarity across the continent, enabling nations to stand together against external manipulation. Traoré suggests that the West consistently champions African leaders who align with their interests 
rather than those genuinely invested in the autonomy and prosperity of their people. This pattern, he asserts, is a modern manifestation of colonial strategies designed to ensure that Africa remains subservient to foreign interests. The solution, according to Traoré, is a profound revolution to sever these neo-colonial chains and reclaim Africa's destiny. The revolution Traoré envisions is comprehensive, encompassing political, economic, and social transformations. Politically, it necessitates the displacement of leaders who act as puppets to external powers, leaders who betray their people for foreign favor. Economically, he stresses the urgency of reclaiming control over African resources, advocating for self-sufficiency to end the cycle of economic dependency that has tethered African nations to their former colonizers. Socially, the revolution calls for a cultural renaissance, where Africans reject the inferiority complexes imposed by centuries of oppression and embrace their rich heritage and values. This cultural empowerment is seen as essential to fostering a sense of unity and solidarity across the continent, enabling nations to stand together against external manipulation. Traoré's speech not only outlines the tactics used by neo-colonial powers, including the deployment of mercenaries and disinformation campaigns to destabilize sovereign nations, but also illuminates the psychological warfare aimed at maintaining dominance over Africa. These strategies disrupt national stability and skew public perception to hinder genuine democratic processes. The path forward, as delineated by Traoré, involves building robust, accountable institutions and fostering governance that genuinely reflects the will and needs of the African populace. This, he argues, can only be achieved through widespread education and a collective awakening to the realities of neo-colonialism. Ultimately, Traoré's rallying cry is for African nations to forge a united front, embracing leaders who prioritize national interests over foreign approval. The goal is to catalyze a continent-wide movement towards true independence, a reclamation of rights, resources, and self-determination that defies the long-standing exploitation by foreign powers. In his incisive commentary, President Ibrahim Traoré illuminates the complex dynamics of neo-colonial influence in Africa, highlighting how foreign powers maintain their dominance through a variety of overt and covert strategies. He identifies the use of mercenaries to foment instability and chaos as a primary tactic. These mercenaries, often employed by neo-colonial entities, destabilize nations to justify foreign interventions, thereby preserving their control over African political and economic landscapes. This practice erodes national sovereignty and perpetuates dependency and violence within the continent. Traoré also exposes the manipulation of information as a critical tool in the neo-colonial arsenal. Disinformation campaigns spread misleading narratives and false information to divide societies and weaken local resistance to foreign dominance. These strategies not only distort public perception, but also hinder the pursuit of genuine independence. Traoré stresses the importance for African nations to cultivate their own media platforms to counteract these campaigns and foster a cohesive vision for their future. Moreover, economic manipulation plays a significant role in sustaining neo-colonial control. Foreign powers impose economic conditions through loans and aid that serve their interests, entrapping African nations in a cycle of debt and economic subservience. This financial dependence restricts the ability of these countries to formulate and follow independent development policies. Traoré advocates for a thorough reassessment of these economic relationships and calls for the establishment of self-reliant, sustainable economies. Addressing the cultural and psychological dimensions of neocolonialism, Traoré speaks to the vital need for an educational awakening among the African populace. By enhancing educational frameworks and raising historical awareness, he envisions empowering a new generation of leaders and citizens who are informed, resilient, and dedicated to the principles of sovereignty and self-determination. Lastly, Traoré critiques the Western hypocrisy surrounding democracy and human rights. He argues that Western powers often exploit these concepts as a facade to further their own geopolitical interests rather than genuinely supporting democratic values. This selective application of democratic principles and human rights serves to undermine leaders who prioritize national interests over foreign agendas, 
further complicating the path to true autonomy for African nations. President Ibrahim Traoré's compelling discourse elucidates the enduring struggle for genuine sovereignty in Africa, dissecting the facade of independence that has long been manipulated by neo-colonial interests. Traoré criticizes the superficial independence granted to African nations, which often comes layered with hidden strings that serve to entrench foreign domination further. Traoré underscores the selective application of human rights concerns, noting that global powers often overlook violations by regimes that align with their interests while exploiting these concerns to delegitimize and intervene in nations that resist neo-colonial influence. He calls for a re-evaluation of democracy and human rights from an African perspective, advocating for governance models rooted deeply within the cultural, social, and historical contexts of African nations. These models, according to Traoré, should be participatory and inclusive, genuinely reflecting the needs and aspirations of African people, thereby fostering systems that support true democracy and freedom. He also highlights the necessity for African nations to develop their own human rights frameworks, emphasizing that these should champion justice, equality, and self-determination without foreign imposition. On June 26, 2023, Niger's assertive declaration of sovereignty marked a critical point in Africa's liberation journey, resisting foreign interference and reclaiming control over local resources. This bold move, although met with opposition from neo-colonial agents, symbolizes the growing resolve among African nations to forge their paths towards independence. The formation of the African Economic and Security AES, architecture on September 16, 2023, further exemplifies significant strides towards regional cooperation and self-reliance. The AES aims to develop a comprehensive framework addressing finance, economy, infrastructure, health, and education, setting the foundation for sustainable development and true sovereignty. Traoré emphasizes the crucial role of unity and collective action in this journey, urging African nations to support each other against neo-colonial tactics. He stresses the importance of strengthening regional alliances and fostering a sense of community to enhance resistance to external pressures. Moreover, Traoré advocates for the development of strong, accountable institutions capable of governing and managing resources effectively. He calls for transparent political systems, robust rule of law, and good governance to ensure that African societies are just, equitable, and reflective of their people's values and aspirations. President Traoré's vision for a new dawn in African sovereignty is not merely about reclaiming political and economic control, but also about building a society that truly represents the interests and welfare of its people. He sees this as a fight not just for the present, but for future generations, aiming to end the cycle of dependency and exploitation perpetuated by neo-colonial powers. His call to action resonates with a clear message. The time for African nations to stand together and reshape their destiny is now. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this video.